Okay, so, thanks. Uh, so this is using query um, call for February 24th. Um, this is our last using query call before we demo and do a workshop at NYC School of Data as part of MSC Open Data Week. So we thought we'd use this call to preview a little bit of what we plan to um, show off and work on in that workshop. And I think that part of the conversation will be led by Chris. Um, tickets for that are on sale. Um, in the description of this video, I'll put a link to the um, School of Data page where you can buy those. Um, it looks like Chris is frozen, so I'll try to hang on while we <laughs> All right, cool. Chris is back. Um, so yeah, just check the description of this video, and uh, it'll have links for how to set up for a website. Uh, and then at the back end, we'll have Casey demo some work she's been doing on checked out edits. Um, so Chris, if you're ready, um, I think we'd love to just show off a little bit about what we plan to talk about for school data. Sure. So um, can you hear me okay? Yeah. So I mean, basically what we're trying to, to show off is uh, some new features in query. So we kind of have the, uh, the basics working for you know, data set versioning, um, but I think what's going to be the, the newest and most interesting stuff that we're going to share, this link would just load, that would be great. You might have to join the WeWork Wi-Fi. Right. Um, yeah, so the most interesting thing that we're going to share is, uh, is the ability to do uh, diffing uh, while you're doing live editing to a data set. Um, and then uh, basically on top of that, this sort of normal, normal you know, introductory query workflow uh, of cloning a data set and, um, and publishing it via Query Cloud. Um, so I think we've basically selected a data set that is a little bit dirty. Um, and this one is, a, if you can see my screen here, uh, it's a list of uh, business improvement districts around New York City. Um, but it has things like uh, this date column in it that are, you know, it's not, not uh, categorized as a date. It's just got sort of free form text, uh, month and year field in it. And then it's also some of them just have a year. Um, so this is sort of a, a simple to, to modify data set. It's only got 76 rows. Um, some of these, you know, organization uh, entities, basically the, the community district contact information are missing. So you see some phone numbers in here missing. Um, but this is kind of a, a data set that, that we can quickly um, clean up and improve. And I think what we're trying to demonstrate there is that uh, once you open this in Query Desktop and get it you know, into Query, uh, you'll be able to start making changes in Query Desktop. So we hope to have you know, field editing in place so we can actually just click on one of these guys in Query Desktop and start changing it. And then the version control part will kick in where it says, oh, I noticed there's a difference. It'll kind of alert you to a uh, change, kind of like GitHub Desktop does when you change a file. Uh, and then you can make a commit to that desktop, uh, to that data set, and it'll show up in your history. Um, so I think what we really like to do is get a bunch of people working on this, either in small groups, um, to, to clean up their data set. Uh, and it'd actually be really telling to have different groups uh, that have their version of you know, the cleanest data set they can possibly get to. Uh, and then we can actually compare all those uh, and see what the difference is between you know, one person's version of clean versus another person's version of clean. Uh, and I think all of it, because it's a version control and you know, each, each version is uh, they're made by different groups is you know, easily referenceable and can be, can be uh, cited easily. I think we'll, we'll be in a good shape to, to demonstrate the, you know, the features of version control for data sets with this kind of simple data set. So I think that's what we're going for. Looking forward to kind of sprinting towards uh, adding some, some last minute uh, features to make this demo really kick. And uh, looking forward to doing that next uh, next Saturday at School of Data. Cool. Uh, thank you for that. Did you did you have the list of the one to three to five data sets we intend to use for that yet, or no? Oh, I think I think it's just that one. Okay. So, cool. Uh, yeah. Good. I'll make sure that there's a, a link to that as well. So for anybody who's watching this who plans to attend our event, you get a link directly to that data set so you can play around with it um, in advance. Um, cool. Uh, Casey. <laughs> Hi. Okay, cool. 
Um, so I just was going to do a little bit of a screen share and uh, talk about the changes that are being made to uh, get us to the point for the School of Data workshop. So where should I go? Okay. You guys seeing this? Yeah, we're good? Yep. Okay. Uh, so basically the main change is uh, previously the only way to edit within the app was to what we call check out the data set from query to your file system, which means that there is a link to a folder somewhere on your computer that query knows belongs to I'm sorry, the query knows uh, that says, hey, this folder contains data set information. We want also, however, we wanted to add the feature where you don't actually have to check anything out in order to make edits in the app. Um, and it's been a little tricky because so much of our uh, design of the process for editing was surrounding this uh, link to a file system. So I'm, but I'm, you know, it, everything's going to look exactly the way that it did. It's just that now you don't have to click the checkout button to edit. Um, so first I'm just going to add a, this is the body that I always use. It's like the earthquake data set that, that is our like main thing that we use here. Um, okay. So this is, we created the data set and this is the first element in the history. We just, so uh, here there's this checkout button and it used to be that when you would click on status, there was a pane that would say, hey, you have to check this out in order to make any edits to it. But now you don't have to. Now uh, we currently have editing for readme, meta, and structure, not body yet. We have more um, sort of design and thought that needs to be put into editing cells in the body before we bring it into the app. But, you know, now you can, you know, earthquakes. And then the app will tell you, hey, this is new. It'll let you, once you've made a change, it'll let you then commit. Once they're going to add a readme, this is my readme. And I commit. I'm going to say added readme and meta. And then once this saves. So right now, what we're doing is we have, um, you, we're basically, instead of telling query to look at the file system and look at changes, the app is building up a mutated version of the data set in memory and then sends that to the back end as the changes. So yeah, so if we look here, here, in our previous version, there was no meta. Now there is a meta title is earthquakes previous version there was no readme now there is a readme so yeah we're getting there and that's my presentation cool so if you were a query user before this forthcoming version uh what casey just showed to you might make you really happy as it does for me um and if you're downloading query is this going to be 040 probably or 037 either one of those so if, if the if in our next release, which should be coming this week, I think, um, it'll definitely be released before we do School of Data. If you're downloading Query for the first time, that probably won't affect you too much, but um, that's a feature I'm pretty excited about. Uh, all right, cool. All right, we can leave it there. Um, sign up for School of Data, and we'll meet you guys there. And um, if, you, if you download Query and have problems with it beforehand, uh, be sure to reach out to us on our Discord, which I'll also link in the bio, or in the description. But that's all we got. See y'all.